So here I've made a TNT trap that is basically impossible to defuse. Every single one of these TNTs is touching either a butted piston or a butted rail. There is no place you can put redstone power without activating a TNT, and there are no places inside large enough to chorus fruit to. The only three ways to defuse it are deleting the chunks, using an update suppressor, and of course coating it in obsidian. Naturally, I'll be making an update to this soon that, on top of exploding, will also generate 20 weathers or so to take care of any obsidian. But of course, that's not all. There's still a couple more parts I want to add. A key system so that only the builder can disarm it, an optional timer, and an optional chicken spawner. It would be the ultimate way to take someone's base ransom. Unfortunately, I made this in my generic testing world, so there won't be a world download quite yet. However, I did back the world up so we can play around with it. I may at some point release the footage of constructing it, but I'll probably make it intentionally hard to follow so only the most dedicated can use it. Something else, though, is that I did not use any observers, so it should work pre-1.11. There are honey blocks, but glass should work in its place just fine. As you may have noticed, it detonates very quickly. In fact, it only takes 4 game ticks, or 0.2 seconds, before it starts. But hopefully that will be reduced further on the next update, which, in addition to everything previously stated, should also address extreme lag allowing one to stop the detonation prematurely, as well as a bug that causes it to detonate for seemingly no reason. Normally, covering a TNT trap with water can dramatically reduce the destruction. However, this explodes from the inside out, so there's no way for the water to prevent any explosion. Next I'm going to need some help. Thankfully, Nembon's carpet mod allows me to generate several players to do my bidding. I'm also covering the top with double carpets so that my minions can only teleport if they're somewhere inside. As you can see, none of them are teleporting, despite the fact that with the 20 players combined, 1,280 spots are checked for the teleportation each time. So, chorus fruits are a dead end. That's all I have for now, so until next time- Wait, shouldn't I subscribe to the Don't Test the Update video? Oh yes, that would be a good idea. Anyways, have a good day!